Hi, my name is Matt Williams and this is my application for the SSI Fellowship Programme. I hope in this video I can give you a bit of an idea about who I am, what I do and how I hope to make use of the Fellowship. So, starting with a bit of background information about myself, I study physics at the University of Warwick um, before then going on to do a PhD there in particle physics. It was during my PhD that I spent some time at CERN working on the LHCB project. It was during this time that I first came across the extent to which software pervades research and how essential it is to be able to analyse the large volumes of data that experiments like this produce. Software is important in this kind of project both on the individual level, writing small scripts to do their analysis, as well as larger collaborations of people coming together to produce software which is used by other people. After my PhD I moved over to the University of Birmingham, taking a step away from the science side and focusing more on the computing side. So I worked as a system administrator looking after their LHC grid site, which is one of the machines which processes data coming from the Large Hadron Collider. During my time there, I did a fair amount of software development as well, working on tools which is used by researchers, as well as user support for scientists, and a fair amount of teaching as well, so doing both undergraduate and postgraduate teaching. After uh, my time at Birmingham, I've now moved over to the University of Bristol, where I've taken a slight sidestep again, so instead of working in particle physics, I'm now working within synthetic biology. I'm employed as a research software engineer within Bristol Bio, which is a synthetic biology group uh, looking particularly at protein folding, drug discovery and associated areas. Uh, within Bristol, I also work at the Advanced Computing Research Centre, which is the group which looks after the supercomputers that are available to the whole university. Uh, I spend a lot of my time there doing traditional system administration tasks, making sure that um, the systems are running as you'd hope they would be. But on top of that, there's a large amount of uh, user support, so making sure that people's software is working the best it can for the system we have, um, as well as basic user support tasks, just helping people log onto the systems, compile their software and things like that. Within that group, I also do a fair amount of teaching, which I'll come on to in a moment. But most recently, I also helped to organize the uh, Research Software Engineer Conference, which was held in September earlier this year and within that I was the workshop co-chair so I helped organize the workshop teaching program coordinate with the presenters and make sure the material was available and the attendees would have systems in order to run the workshop material on. So as I say I do a fair amount of teaching so each year we I run about 10 to 15 software training sessions um, for research staff at the university which amounts to around 200 students. As part of that, I've recently developed some material for a data analysis course to give people a basic introduction into the tools that are available to them. Um, and I gave that workshop as well as at the university, also at the Research Software Engineer Conference in September. I also recently attended the Software Carpentry Instructor Training and I'm planning on providing regular software carpentry courses at Bristol. As for what I hope to get out of this fellowship, I found across my career that sustainable software while it's very important within any research uh, program, is often undervalued by the researchers and in fact is often seen as getting in the way and slowing down their research. And so what I hope to be able to do is show the researchers both the benefits of sustainable software practices as far as making their science better, as well as finding ways to work sustainable software into a research program that's not going to get in the way and will fold in nicely with the way that researchers actively develop the software that they use. In my experience it's documentation and testing that are the fastest route to improvement for research software and I think education in those areas is going to give the most benefit in terms of improving the science that the universities are producing. However getting that knowledge out of my head and into their heads is I think the largest challenge so I need to make sure I'm increasing the visibility of the benefits of these practices as well as the ability for me to provide the information to them to making sure that the courses that I'll be giving are publicised and made available as widely as possible. So what I'm hoping to do with the Fellowship Award is very much based around this approach. So I'm hoping to run at least two Software Carpentry style workshops, um, hopefully one at another university. I've had requests in the past to go to another university and help them run these kind of workshops but have lacked the travel money in order to help out and so the uh, SSI fellowship would be invaluable in helping spread the word about this kind of this kind of material. Um, so this would include personal travel and catering for any attendees of local workshops that we might put on. 
On top of this, I want to be able to acquire some web hosting and cloud computing provision to host training materials and the virtual machines that attendees could run the courses on, since often there will be slightly more complicated requirements for the material I'll be teaching, and not needing their laptops to be set up in a particular way can make the whole process much simpler. I'm also hoping to develop a workshop on software testing for researchers, since I feel that the approach needed for software testing is different for people doing research and science than it is for commercial companies developing software for consumption by the general public. Finally, I want to make sure I can increase the visibility of myself as someone who can provide this training to people as well as the practice themselves so that more people can get the benefit from sustainable software. I'd like to thank you very much for listening and I hope to hear from you soon.